Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Chief Audio Man. Here at The Chief Audio Man, we help folks find high-value hi-fi, home theater, and headphone equipment. And today, we're talking all about the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS. Are they better than these? Odyssey LCDX. Are they better than these? Hi-Fi Man Sundara. I don't know, but grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about... The Hi Fi Man Edition XS. Today's sponsor is Sith Audio Cable Management System. That's right, messy cables, not anymore. Sith Audio's got you covered with Sith Audio's Cable Management System. Can be tailored to any length that you like, non toxic, and $175 a roll. That's right, Sith Audio Audiophile Cable Management System, the Hi-Fi Men Edition XS. Linsol, a very nice company, sent these out to me for review. They also sent me the Harmonic Dyne Poseidon for review. These are from Hi-Fi Men, and actually, it is their latest headphone in their illustrious long line of headphones. I'll take a picture of this and show it to you, but it's basically all of their headphones and when they released anyway the edition xs is their latest one has stealth technology has oblong egg shaped ear things stealth tech is the magnet so instead of having square edges they have round edges or something like that here's the takeaway the magnets are better more refined different the latest generation, there we go. The latest generation of magnets. hi in Edition XS includes the latest generation of magnets in the hi in setup. Actually, the Sonaras I have are supposed to have the Stealth Magnets as well as, I think the 400 SE, something like that. That's the latest craze in headphones. Why? I think it's because you can cut down on the weight. And that's a very important thing about these headphones because they're pretty light. These look like the Aria, the Ananda, and they come in at $500 US. The headband is very rounded, so it contacts a whole bunch of your head, which is very nice. I've been wearing these a lot, and never once did I think, well, never once was I like, man, these are heavy. And never once was I thinking, ah, that gives me a hot spot. The ear pads are really nice. It's kind of a stretchy nylon material, and interior to that, it's perforated, like I'm sure it's protein leather. And then you can see the driver right through there. The outside is fake leather, and they just pop out. I'm not going to pull them out because then I don't want to snap them back in. The yoke is all metal. This is all metal. This is plastic, but it feels like good plastic. Very good padding in here. Very good shape. Terminations on ear cup is a 3.5 millimeter, and that goes straight into a 3.5 millimeter with a 6.35 millimeter adapter. 90 degree angle cables a little short one of these rubbery ones i don't really mind it but since it's 3.5 millimeter um if you have any other headphones like any of the focal stuff verum ones or the new monolith you'll be able to switch out cables so these have an impedance of 18 ohms and 92 db sensitivity i guess they were kind of hard to drive initially i was driving them off the high diz s9 pro it's a dongle deck and it was fine. I didn't feel like I really needed to crank the volume all the way up. But I did notice one thing on that dongle deck. Sibilance. And I didn't think it controlled the bass all that well. So I switched it over to the SMSL SU6 and SH6. It's a little tiny headphone amp stack, even though I hate that. DAC stack. It's a DAC stack. And it controlled things a lot better. The bass got tighter but yet full and the siblings oddly enough went away i guess it's probably because of the dac or the headphone amp so let's talk about sound in the simplest terms this is like a hi-fi man sandara with really good bass and better sound staging this headphone for me may be the absolute most perfect headphone that could ever be created for me personally because it has all of the clarity all of the detail all of the instrument separation and it has bass. Not only does it have bass, it can get you. All the Metallica stuff, sad but true, live in Moscow. The <laughs> On other headphones, especially the Sundaris, I was getting all the detail I wanted, and it was incredible. It sounded awesome, but it just lacked that oomph on the bottom. And not so with the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS.
this has body and base, but pretty much still kind of maintains that Sundara-esque mid-range and top end. I'd say these sound an awful lot like the Odyssey LCD X. Now the LCD X has a little bit different tonality. These seem a little bit cooler in the mid-range. The LCD X have a little bit of warmth. Like I said, this is kind of like a Sundara with bass and some warmth on the lower mid-range. Upper mid-range, these get cooler. LCD X stays a little bit warmer and then just has a lot of detail and separation on top. Soundstage, these had me turning my head all of the time. The Ocean by Led Zeppelin. At the beginning, John Bonham's doing the countdown. And I'm always looking up. These also sound a lot like the Verum ones, but better soundstage, lighter. They don't look like the Verum ones and better bass. Did I say that? Maybe. $500, but they are light. I know I poke fun at how heavy headphones are and we should just do neck exercises, but I've been listening to the Monolith M1070s and the M1070Cs and it's a lot nicer to have a lighter headphone. I think those headphones have more to do with their headband though because it's not as curvy curvy as this. This is very comfortable. Here's the deal. So I have reviewed the Meze Elites. I've listened to the Odyssey LCD-X. I own the hi fi Men Sonaras. I own the Verum Ones. I own a lot of planar headphones, the Dan Clark Aeon Closed, Monolith M1070, 1060. Why can't I say Monolith very well? Fostex, dollar for dollar. These are it for me at $500. I know $500 sounds like a lot, but nobody's going to sneeze at a $500 pair of speakers. If you are in an apartment, if you listen to headphones a lot, $500, while it seems like it's a stretch, is not outside the realm of possibilities for most people. And I would say these are giving you $1,000 worth of sound experience. They're awesome. The Meze Elites, $4,000. Those are better than these. But these aren't far off. It's a different sound signature. The Meze Elites are a little bit warmer, a little bit richer on the bottom. These have the appearance of more detail on top. A little bit cooler. But man, oh man, do these sound good. And they don't require a ton of break-in either. I listened to them out of the box. Fantastic. I was texting people right away being like, whoa, these are good. I ran them for two days straight in the office. Sound pretty much exactly the same. Actually, I, don't, I can't even tell the difference. Mid-range is a bit cool. So you got U-shaped. These are a bit U-shaped. So you got some us and there's some ish on the top. A little bit of a cooler mid-range, but don't think that that's a recess mid-range or it's not a good mid-range. It's just on the cool side. And I have zero problem with that. The cups are plastic, by the way, and that's fine. They're still built well. Treble, percussion, mm, yummy, tactile, Nina Simone, center man, the beginning. Fantastic. Oceans by Pearl Jam. Mm. His voice, separated, detail, nuances, layering, soundstage and imaging. Probably one of the wider headphones that I've heard. Really well done. The, these, these, are, these are really fantastic. And I think a heck of an achievement at $500. I haven't heard the Aria or the Ananda. I don't really feel like I need to. You know, if I get a chance, I'll listen to them. For an open back headphone, as comfortable as these are, the sound quality, I'll put it to you this way. If I was, if I had my Dan Clarks or I had these and I didn't need a closed back, I'm grabbing these. I'm grabbing these over the Sundaras. Um, it's going to be a toss up between the LCD X and these. If I'm well rested, I'll probably grab the LCD X's. If I'm a little bit tired, I'll probably grab these. Those are heavier. These between the Meze Elites, uh, I think I'd still grab the Meze Elites. If I was in a situation that would be deemed safe and I wouldn't have to worry about falling rocks or anything that could potentially damage the headphones. Otherwise, I'm grabbing these. Meze Elites are warmer. These are awful good. At $500, I couldn't recommend these more. If you have $500, if you like the planar sound, and these definitely have the planar sound. What is the planar sound? Very detailed. Sometimes a cooler top end. Depends though. I mean, the M1070s, a bit warm. Mezze Elites are a bit warm. I couldn't say really much more about these. One of the best headphones I've heard. 
$500 seems like a lot. I think it's a fantastic value as I have heard more headphones in that price range. A brilliant headphone. The only build quality gripes I would have is this plastic area right here. I don't think it's gonna break. I just wish it was a little bit better. Maybe the ear cups, but other than that, there, there's nothing to complain about. Even with it being plastic, there's really nothing to complain about. It's well done. Personally, for my personal preferences, this is really a perfect headphone. If it was a bit warmer in the mid-range, it would be like I would be doing backflips right now. 9.9 out of 10. Um, if you get a chance to listen to these, I would highly, highly recommend it. As I said before, these are Sundaras that will punch you in the face with some bass. So if you want to support the channel, check out Patreon. Patreon.com slash Cheap Audio Man. Every Sunday night we have Patreon-only Zooms. We also have a Patreon-only Facebook group. Hold on, I'm going to take a cup of coffee. Hold on. Hold on, I'm going to take a drink of coffee, not a cup of coffee. You can also use the affiliate links to buy these. There's a link in the description. Click on the link. If you buy them, I get a commission, but it doesn't cost you anymore. It's a great way to help out the channel. You can also sign up for Amazon Music. Link in the description. Click on the link. Sign up. You get three months for free, I get a couple of dollars. I'll also link the SMSL SU6 and the SH6. Headphone DAC stack, DAC amp stack. It's a good little system. It's about 200 bucks all in, maybe 250 all in. So don't binge watch Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen through your new hi fi XS and you really will fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.